Okay, so I've placed some sodium chloride in my volumetric flask, and now I'm going to dilute it or dissolve it in some water. And uh, this is for one of my most concentrated standard. And uh, in addition to sodium chloride and water, I'm also going to add ionic strength adjuster to the flask. The ionic strength adjuster is going to make sure that the ionic strength of the solution is very high and that when we measure all of our different solutions, the ionic strength is approximately equal in all of them. And that will allow us to measure the concentration of the solution, the chloride in the solution, as opposed to measuring the activity of the solution. So I, our ionic strength adjuster is 5 molar sodium nitrate. I'm going to add 2 milliliters of the sodium nitrate to the 100 milliliter flask. We want our solution to contain 2% of this 5 molar solution. So, by volume. So, 2 mils of 100 is 2%. Now, all of our um, all of our standards need to contain 2% ISA. So, we need to be thinking about how we're going to prepare our standards so that they all have 2% ISA. Because we're going to do serial dilutions from this uh, concentrated solution. Okay, so my ISA has been added. And I'm going to dilute with water. Mix just a little bit. And fill to the line. Oh, I went over. Start over. That's never fun, but you have to start over. All right, here I go again. Okay, I did it. Uh, so now I've got my most concentrated solution. And from this I'm going to do serial dilutions. I'm going to take 50 milliliters from this flask, add it to a one, another 100 milliliter volumetric flask, add 1 mil of ISA, and then dilute the line with water. When I transfer 50 milliliters from this flask, to the next flask. Effectively, I'm transferring one mil of ISA. And so by adding one more milliliter to the next flask, I have in total two milliliters of ISA. So that's a that's an easy way to get to two milliliter or to two percent ISA in uh, your subsequent solutions. Okay, got my 50 milliliter pipette. Okay. Again, I'm pipetting 50 milliliters of the solution I just prepared into another 100 milliliter volumetric flask. It's a good idea to make sure you're labeling your flasks in some way really easy to get these mixed up. Okay. I'm going to add one mil of my ISA. All right. 
And now I'm going to dilute the line with water and hopefully not overflow this time. Living dangerously, Karn. That down, da da da, da da da, close, close. One more, one more. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Now I'm gonna cap. Ugh. And invert. 